Hi guys, I'm Val. Today we're going to be talking about testing emails. So prerequisite. This video assumes the following. You have an understanding of automated tests. You have a basic understanding of sending emails with Laravel. So introduction. We all know how to test if our application has sent an email. What if we could automate this? There are multiple ways of actually doing so. Please bear in mind, this video will be aimed at Laravel users. However, the methods should be framework independent. So what are the various methods? First, there's logging emails. Second, we can use something called mail catcher. And third, we can use something called mail trap. So let's take a look at each one of those and discuss their advantages and disadvantages. So logging emails. By changing the mail driver in your ENV file to log, you stop Laravel from sending out emails. Instead, Laravel will write all emails to the log. Laravel offers the developer a chance to capture the Swift message before it is stored in the log or sent. We can catch the Swift message and inspect it. Now we have the message and the data, we can run our assertions against that. So what are the advantages? It's quick and easy to set up. We have access to all the information we need for our automated tests. We can run tests without filling up the recipient's inbox and we do not rely on a third party service. But what are the disadvantages? Well, we are not actually sending a real email in this test. Our assertions are running against an email before it sends we are not testing to see if our email details are correct. This leaves potential for our test to be green, but emails do not send. Mail catcher. It's actually a local SMTP server. We can configure our application to send emails to mail catcher. Once we have sent off our email, we can check mail catcher's inbox to view our emails. We can then use MailCatcher's API to get data about the sent emails to run our assertions. So what are the advantages? Well, it runs locally. We run assertions on real sent emails. We don't rely on a third party server to be up. It is free to use MailCatcher and we have access to all the information we need to run our tests. But what are the disadvantages? Well, we are not sending email online to a real inbox. MailTrap. It is an online server which can receive emails. We can set up mailboxes on the server to send emails to. We can then use MailTrap's API to gather data about our emails so we can run assertions against it. So what are the advantages? We'll be testing real sent emails. It is free to use MailTrap. MailTrap offers email spam and blacklist analysis. We have access to all the information we need to run our tests. Disadvantages. It requires our tests to rely on a third party server. If the server is down, our test may fail, but our code is actually good. So there's potential for that to happen, but I wouldn't really Think that could happen. MailTrap is uh, kind of a big service and I don't see it going down. So thanks for watching guys. I hope this video really helps you and clears up how we can use automated tests to test our emails. I know I was really excited when I found out that we could do this. I hope you feel the same. So guys, please like and subscribe below. Thanks for watching.